And this is CT style. And could the next Steven Spielberg or Martin Scorsese be honing his or her craft? in Woodbury, Connecticut? I hope so. Nanawaga High School has a growing media program with student film directors who are creating award-winning work. Joining us now is Will Michael, the video arts teacher, along with Emily Alleggi, Jake Sumpel, and Brian Viveros. Welcome, everyone. I hope you're enjoying the field trip. We're yes. happy you are Thanks here. Thank you. Do you guys have to go back to school after this? Yeah. We do. Uh, uh, that's a bummer. We'll take a lot of your time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah well, we have to tape a lot of stuff after the show. But, but tell us, I mean, what you guys have been working on. This is really exciting. Sure, uh, I'll just in start real quick. Uh, we have a media program at Nanawag High School. Uh, it's my fourth year, and we're always trying to get opportunities for students to get out into the real world and mm -hmm. be involved in some competitive filmmaking challenges. Last year, we had Brian and Jake win at the Expo Fest Film Festival, That's which big. is coming up again this year, May 19th, at the Oakdale Theater in Wallingford. So, so what's this year's film that you guys produced? Um, well, me and my friends produced a film called Risky Business, and we enter in an 84-hour challenge where we get 84 hours to make a film, and they give us a set of criteria, and we have to follow that criteria and submit oh. it by Monday night. Very cool. Wow. Yeah. So you guys are doing all the writing, the shooting, the editing, mm -hmm. even acting? How does that all come together? Um, it's, it's a lot. We, <laughs> me and my friends all, it's great that we all uh, like to work with each other because we really work together to make sure that everything comes out well and we all do the acting and, uh, and the editing together. Well, speaking of that, we have a little clip here from uh, Pizza again, which is Brian's film. Let's take a little uh, look at this here. So, I mean, this is like high quality stuff. Do you guys rent cameras for this or, or how does this all work? Uh, yeah, we have to rent a couple of cameras That's in order true. to get a stable and good looking shots. So, so who's paying for all this? Uh, we all chip in together. You do? That's yeah. impressive. That's great that you guys are so dedicated to that. Uh, and, and then we have Jake's film here, which is called The Empathetic Fisherman. How did you mm. come up with that title? And, and what's sort of the gist? Well, we wanted to just make some sort of small animation because that was new to us. And we were just like, what's a moral that we could kind of throw in there? And so we went with empathy, which is easy enough. And it was kind of just the basis of it was just some format in which we could like maybe say something comes ahead of something else. So like man catches fish and then decides to throw fish back because fish look sad. Oh, and wow. we animated that and... Um, That's really impressive to, to animate it, especially yeah. at your age, very impressive. Then Emily, uh, this year, this is your first year and... Let, Backyard Bears? Yeah. yeah. Tell us the story behind that. So at the Bench of the River Audubon Center in Southbury, there's been like a real increase in bear population and density within the area. So seeing that, I decided to do a study on how the bears affect other wildlife and how the humans in the area impact the bears. Oh how did gosh. you get the bear video? Um, we used trail cameras set up on trees. Wow. And it do you put honey on the cameras or how do you attract uh, them? Not it's not really. the bear, right? It's, is that true? Are they attracted to honey? I don't honey? know. Are they? Are they into honey? <laughs> They're into like very sweet things, so okay. like jelly. Oh, so I suppose. Yeah, Sorry. You know. It's okay, Teresa. I accept your apology. <laughs> That's but you've impressive. submitted and we're just going to wait yeah. and see the results coming up uh, next month, right? Yep. Yeah, right. next month, free tickets, Oakdale Theater, May 19th. Anyone's interested, come on down as a students from throughout the state have submitted work and uh, it's a wonderful night for student cool. filmmakers. A lot of hard about. work you guys put into this. I mean, <laughs> hours, right? Uh, oh, putting yeah. a, a movie yes. together? Yeah. Thank film? you. Very impressive work. Sure and is. Where can we grab tickets for it? You could go online to um, skills21.org, mm -hmm. look for the Expo Fest link, and you can register. They also have some tickets you can pick up at the door. Excellent. We'll guys, thank you so thank much you. for joining Good us. Luck, and thank you. Best thank of luck, and we'll be applying for our jobs soon. So I'll see you guys <laughs> later. Remember us here on CT Stuff. All right.